In today's video, we are going to be talking about robots and technologies for the future management of advanced U.S. research. Shaky robot that could perceive its environment, Project ARPANET that was able to send the first message. DARPA robot racing that holds races for unmanned vehicles. Self-driving vehicles that developed artificial intelligence technologies in several fields. Big dog four-legged robot that is able to move at a speed of six and a half kilometers per hour. Spy beetles that are just the size of insects. Robot worms that will be able to tunnel at a speed of 10 centimeters per second. Robotic pilots that are capable of controlling aircraft and helicopters, including combat ones. AI combat air system will be able to take control of a combat aircraft and conduct most air combat maneuvers in the future. Increased long-range ships that will overcome the range limit for the sea drones by decreasing their wave resistance. Neurotechnology for emerging therapy that will help soldiers fight post-traumatic stress disorder and other problems. Number 11. Shaky. In 1964, the head of the Stanford Research Institute's Artificial Intelligence Center, Charles Rosen, suggested that an intelligent automatic machine should be created for the Advanced Research Department. The grant was approved, and the developed robot was designed to work as a patrol officer or as a scout. According to the developers, the robot could perceive its environment, derive implicit facts from explicit ones, recover from mistakes, create new plans, and execute them. It also understands instructions written in plain English. The robot was equipped with video cameras, sensors, collision, and a rangefinder. Communication with the robot was carried out using a radio. Shaky software architecture, navigation, computer vision, and planning techniques proved to be the basics to video game creations, robotics, and web server development. Number 10. Project ARPANET The first considerable success of the agency was the ARPANET, which was the foundation of the modern Internet. With the help of this computer network, they were able to send the first message between California and Stanford University in 1969. However, only two of the five letters of the message were successfully transferred. On the 1st of January, 1983, the network became the first in the world to switch to data packet routing. A routed protocol was developed by the order of DARPA, called the IP protocol. This is still basic for data transmission on the internet today. Number 9. DARPA Robot Racing Modern unmanned vehicles date back to a series of robot races, which were sponsored by DARPA in the early 2000s, to stimulate the development of technology. In 2004, only one robot vehicle out of all the applicants for the prize of $1 million managed to pass a modest 12 kilometers of the planned 240 kilometers. However, in 2005, the whole distance was covered by five cars at once. Later in 2007, DARPA held another race with a prize of $2 million this time. The self-driving cars drove through the city, observing the rules of the road and interacting with each other at intersections. Number 8. Self-driving vehicle Self-driving vehicles were one of the first and main goals of DARPA. In the 1980s, the agency launched the Strategic Computing Initiative in order to stimulate the development of self-driving vehicles and allocated a billion dollars to it. The main goal was to develop artificial intelligence technologies in several fields. Among the results are the first autonomous cars and the first quadruple-legged walking robot by Boston Dynamics. Number 7. Big Dog Four-Legged Robot DARPA sponsored the development of the first Boston Dynamics Big Dog Four-Legged Robots, presented in 2005. The robot measures 91 by 76 centimeters and weighs 110 kilograms. It was able to move at a speed of 6.5 kilometers per hour and carry a load of 150 kilograms. It can as well climb a mountain with a slope of 35 degrees. The project cost DARPA $42 million, but was terminated because the robot was extremely noisy. Nevertheless, Big Dog became the basis for the creation of both the Atlas robot and the Robot Spot. This robot was not the last development of Boston Dynamics for DARPA, by the way. Number 6. Spy Beetles The new program SHRIMP, which stands for Short Range Independent Micro Robotic Platforms, and the robots developed within, can be said to be the smallest type of such mechanisms just like the size of insects. 
Researchers clipped a series of six electrodes to the muscles and brain of the robot. The robots will be fast and maneuverable enough to fly, jump, lift objects, and perform terrain analysis. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like if you are loving the content. Number five, Robot Worm. These are just one of the bio-inspired robots from DARPA. The agency recently announced that it will build a completely finished robot worm that will be able to tunnel at a speed of 10 centimeters per second. About two and a half million dollars have already been allocated for this project. The robot works will be useful in creating tactical paths when fighting in cities and megacities. Number four, robotic pilots. Another key project made by DARPA is the creation of robotic pilots an artificial intelligence capable of controlling aircraft and helicopters, including combat ones. Thus, the final test of ALIAS technology on Sikorsky UH-60M Black Hawk helicopters were held. The test programs had remote and autonomous missions. ALIAS system consists of a robotic pilot, voice interface, and software. In order to install ALIAS on any Black Hawk from the U.S. Army Park, you only need LiDAR and cameras. Number three, AI Combat Air System. This artificial intelligent training system will be able to take control of a combat aircraft and conduct most air combat maneuvers in the future. It was developed by DARPA and is called the Air Combat Evolution. Due to its development, the recent neural network algorithms were tested with the virtual air combat alpha dog fight trials. The artificial intelligence was able to defeat a professional pilot of the US Air Force with a crushing score of 5.0. The new neural network system will have to control the fighter and fight more efficiently, and also faster than man. This system will be tested on a real plane in 2024. However, the preparation of the fighter for this event has already begun. Number two, uncrewed long-range ships. Autonomous vehicle technology has gained the attention of DARPA, not only in the air, but also on water. The agency announced that it was ready to finalize contracts with three private companies within the framework of the Sea Train program for the supply of long-range uncrewed ships. The project will deploy the use of a distributed fleet of unmanned tactical surface ships at long distances. The goal is to overcome the range limit for the sea drones by decreasing their wave resistance. DARPA sees that the Sea Train is one solution to this problem. After the drones have overcome a certain distance, they will separate to each perform their task and they form a train again on the way back. Also, at the expense of the drones, the U.S. has decided to soon increase the number of its fleet to 355 ships. The former U.S. Defense Secretary, Mark Esper, announced this, and he also reported the presentation of a prototype underwater drone, Echo Voyager, from Boeing and Sea Hunter surface vehicle developed by DARPA. Apparently, they will join the ranks of the Navy. And number one, Neurotechnology for Emerging Therapy The system-based neurotechnology is one of the most important projects of DARPA and is particularly useful for emerging therapy programs. It was designed to create diagnostic therapeutic closed cycle system and implantation for the treatment of psychoneurological diseases. Basically, the agency wants to create a brain implant that will help soldiers fight post-traumatic stress disorder and other problems. Interestingly, when DARPA began working on this, it said that it would create a chip that would allow the military to use the power of thoughts to control combat robots and drones. One way or another, the work on the brain chip continues.